Welcome to Using Explorer to find resources for humanities and social sciences. The best place to start with Explorer is through its home screen. From the home screen, at the very top, you have your search box where you can insert some keywords. Below that, we have a featured image as well as some popular topics which do get rotated on a regular basis. And then below that, we have some topics that we can explore. Let's go ahead and explore the topic of social sciences. Under social science, you can see an alphabetical list of some subtopics that are available. We can see civics and citizenship, communities, current events, native cultures, sociology, and so forth. For example, we could look under communities. And then from there, you can see different types of communities and community services underneath social science. Let's have a look, for example, at urban geography. This takes us to a topic page. From the topic page, you can easily access a topic overview article. You can also see a sample of search results on the selected topic and the option to view all results. Let's go ahead and select the topic overview. We can click read more to access that full text. The topic overviews are excellent because they provide you with background information that will really help you get started with your research. As we go through, you may notice that some of the terms in the topic overview are hyperlinked. If we click on a link, that actually takes us to other relevant topic overviews and that can greatly expand our knowledge. Let's go back to our original topic overview. The topic overviews are broken down into easily digestible paragraphs and they're separated by different headings. So you can see a bit of an overview for this topic overview. And below that, at the very end, you'll always see a bibliography, which takes you to other recommended readings. Let's go back and from here, let's return to our home screen. Aside from the ability to browse by categories, you also have the ability to construct your own searches. And we're going to now construct a search on outlaw motorcycle gangs. The easiest way to do this is to type in some keywords and click the magnifying glass to generate a list of results. The articles that are found will be displayed in the center of the result list screen. You can sort your displayed results by relevance or by date newest or by date oldest. The number of search results in your list is displayed just underneath the search box. You may decide that you want to apply some filters to further refine your results based on several criteria. You can either select from the displayed search filters below the search box, or you can click all filters to select from all available filters. For example, we could select the all time option to change the date range of the articles to perhaps the past 12 months, the past five years or the past 10 years. Let's narrow down to the past 10 years and our results will refresh accordingly. We can also use the all filters option to see all available facets. The filters panel will be displayed on the right side of the screen. The facets can be expanded to show all the different filters underneath. So we can see different databases, sort by source type. We may even want to sort by subject terms as well. When we're ready to explore an article, we will find that the access options are available. The full text might be available in either online full text or in PDF. Let's go ahead and click on online full text. One of the options that you can find when you access the online full text is the translate tool. This actually allows you to translate the article into a different language. For example, maybe you want to translate the article into Vietnamese. So we can click on that option. And once the page loads, you can then view it in that translated language. If you want to return back to the original language, you can select it from the translate option. Next to the translate tool, there is also the text to speech listen tool, which allows you to listen to that in a text to speech format. Next to that option is the save item feature. This allows you to save or bookmark the article to your Explorer dashboard. Following from that, there is a cite tool. You can use the style drop down to select a citation style of your choice. For example, maybe Harvard. And then we can copy that citation to the clipboard, which you could then insert into a references list 
in your assignment. There is a tab just next to copy citation, which is to export the citation. This allows you to download the citation to a format that's compatible with EasyBib, EndNote and other bibliographic management software. From there on the upper tools menu, we also have the ability to add to project. When you click on the add to project tool, you may be prompted to sign in to your My EBSCO account to create a project. If you see this prompt, click sign in to continue. You'll be taken to the personal user sign in page. If you don't yet have an account, click sign up. Fill in the fields on the create your account screen. Once you have completed the fields, you can click the button create account. Once your account is created, you can return back to the sign in screen and provide your login credentials. You should note the username and password you created so you can log in at a future session. Let's now click sign in. You will now see the options available to add to project. We can either select a project that we've created in the past and add the article, or if we don't yet have a project assigned to the articles that we're saving on a given topic, we can click new project and create that project. For example, I'm going to create a project called Outlaw Motorcycle Games. If I want to, I can give that a due date, but it is optional. So I can search through, and give it a due date if I wanted to. And I can also give it a description, but that is also optional. And from there, I click create. And then I will get notified that my project has been created and that my article has now been added there. So that when I go to my dashboard to access that project, I can easily retrieve the articles I've saved there. No need to keep writing those searches again. I can easily keep them all in one place and access them. Then we have a share option. And from the share option, we have the ability to share to Google Drive, Google Classroom, Microsoft OneDrive, or we can also generate a link to the article. So that if you click that link, you go directly back to this article and so you don't need to go and start again from the home screen. Next to the share option is the email option. So this is where we could email the article to one or more email addresses separated with a semicolon. And lastly, there is the print option where we can print out the article to a local printer, or if it's generated as an online full text, we might wanna convert that to PDF and store it locally on our computer drives or save to a USB. Let's go back. And I also want to point out that sometimes you have articles that are available in PDF. When you click to access a PDF full text article, it will then be displayed in the PDF full text viewer. And if there's any images available, you'll also be able to see those. So it's basically reproducing that print version of that article as it originally existed. Now the PDF format has also a tools menu to the upper right with most of the same features as the online full text. And it also has the ability to easily download the PDF offline to access it that way. I want to now turn your focus to the dashboard options available from the left-hand column, wherever you are on Explorer from the results view or the home screen. The My Dashboard is your own personalized space. You can easily save items to it and create projects for it. Just to summarize, the My Dashboard is where you can access those projects. So that project we recently created can be accessed there. You can see your saved or bookmarked items your recent searches, and your recently viewed items as well. That takes us to the end of the session. You're now ready to get started with Explorer to locate valuable information and research on humanities and social sciences.